Hey everybody, it's Vash, and today, finally, Nintendo has shown us what the Nintendo NX is. It is officially called the Nintendo Switch. Now, this morning at 7 a.m., they gave us a reveal trailer pretty much showing us what the Nintendo Switch is and what it's about. Didn't really show a lot of games, just showed a couple of things, but they pretty much showed enough for us to get an idea of what Nintendo was trying to sell us. Now, I'm a very big Nintendo fan. I've always been a Nintendo fan. I grew up on Nintendo, but lately, they've been slacking a little bit on the uh, the Wii U. The Wii U is a great console, has a lot of good games to play on it, but it just can't hold up to what's going on right now, in my opinion at least. But it's still a really fun console. But the point of this video is the Nintendo Switch. Now, in the trailer, which I should be having playing in the background, we will be pointing out and talking about certain details and certain things that I noticed in the trailer while watching it this morning. Now, the trailer begins, and uh, in the opening, we show a guy playing the new Zelda game, Breath of the Wild, in which then he, his dog is bugging the crap out of him, and he goes over to the dock where the console is being held. Now, just like all the rumors were saying, the Nintendo is trying to sell this as a pickup and like a literal pickup and play gaming console where you can start playing your game and then you can get up and continue it on the road or you know it's, it's mobile it's mobile so hopefully this doesn't really affect their 3ds sales which i'm positive it probably isn't because the 3ds is already selling like crazy and people really enjoy that but when you walk over and you look at the dock you can see the dock has two usb ports in the front it has the console in the middle kind of like a toaster and uh, i assume that the console is connected to the tv through hdmi now, uh, the controller, he takes the controller apart, and he sticks it on the console, and he picks it up and walks out with his dog into the park, which, just like I was saying before, is all about the literal pick-up-and-go gaming that they have going on. Now, with this aspect of pick-up-and-go gaming, you really have to keep in consideration battery life. Now, when the Wii U's gamepad came out, it had horrendous battery life. Disgustingly bad battery life. And, uh, what they console like this that's they're really selling it for on the go type gaming the battery life is going to be a very big thing when the 3ds first came out it had disgustingly bad battery life from from what i know i'm not 100 percent sure but i don't think nintendo ever ever like redid their gamepad to make it longer battery life i'm not sure if they may be like in later consoles uh not later consoles but later in development of the Wii U, maybe they like slipped in a better battery in the in the Wii U pad without us knowing. I don't know, but all I know is that the one I have, which was the Wii U on launch day, and the Wii U gamepad is bad. So just imagine how fun it would be bringing this to your friend's house or going to. I'm talking about in a child standpoint, going to your friend's birthday party, and it's in your backyard, and you get a whole two hours of gameplay. You know what I mean? Like that. That's kind of a little weird. But then again, it's a it's a child, so whatever. But I mean, that's cool, sure, but battery life is a huge thing that we really have to keep in mind. Uh, the, top of the, uh, the top end of the gamepad then shows that the games will be small cartridges, kind of like 3DS cards, a little bit. It makes perfect sense to me, because uh, SD cards actually hold quite a bit of data. I actually have an SD card in my computer right now that's 256 gigs. Um, I'm sh I don't know if they are SD cards, if they're flash cards, we don't know. We do know that Nintendo is going back to carts, though, and it makes sense with them being really small, and it goes with the whole, you know, with the whole mobile aspect of the console having small games, easier to carry while you're on the go. It's easier to carry a pocket, you know, you can take a bunch of these games and stick them in a plastic bag and put it in your pocket compared to having to carry a CD binder or a folder along with you um, while you're walking around. That's if you bring even more than one game with you on the road. Uh, the man in the trailer is on a airplane and he's playing Skyrim and looking at that shows that hopefully, because it is just a trailer, that hopefully we will have better third-party support. Honestly, that was the reason why the Wii U failed in my opinion. Well, not failed because it's still a good console. God damn it, why do I keep saying that? It didn't do as well as it was expected because the third-party support on the Wii U was really bad. Now, hopefully seeing Skyrim in the trailer will show that companies are now fully behind Nintendo on this idea to give them 
give people games worth buying your console for. I know that people buy Nintendo consoles to play to play to play Nintendo games, but that's like buying a PlayStation and the only games you play on there are just like Uncharted or something. You know what I mean? It's like there's more to it than just what they give us and as much as the next guy I do love Nintendo games like Mario Kart, Mario Party, 3D Mario games, etc., etc., but there's more to it than that and hopefully with them showing that it will uh give us more, you know? Uh they also show like a little picture of like all the companies that are behind the the Nintendo Switch with it's a very impressive list of companies that are going to support it. Hopefully it sticks through and they actually do it. Uh, Pro controllers are back, uh, which I'm sure Pro controllers are for people that prefer more of a traditional controller when they play video games. Um, it looks kind of like the Wii Pro controller with like the kind of circular, circular, the circular squarish kind of body with the things at the bottom, the things at the bottom. God damn, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it looks more like the the Wii Pro uh, classic like P control, the Pro controller. Um, like I said, it's 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 mostly there for people that prefer more of a traditional feeling controller because the dock or gamepad little thing that you put the controller on looks a little awkward. Kind of like a kind of reminds me of the original Xbox controller, just like big and circular, but not like fucking huge. Like you're holding this huge giant thing, but you get what I mean. It it, it could seem a little awkward to someone that's used to playing an Xbox or a PS4 that that controller feels a little more natural, but. Hopefully the battery life on that is awesome because the Wii Pro controller that I, the Wii U Pro controller that I have, I swear like I've had that thing for like three years, two, four years or something like that, and like I've only ever had to charge it like three times because like the battery life on it is just off the chain. That's the kind of battery life we need in the console. <laughs> uh, let's see what else is on this list that we can talk about. Um, they show a scene of people playing Mario Kart uh, on the road, like they hook up the the uh, console to this little dock and they play it, play Mario Kart in a van, which you mean, I mean, more power to you, you want to play video games in a car, that's cool, um, I personally get car sick when I try to play video games in a car, so like, I can't like, look at my phone for long periods of time, I can't play my Game Boy or my 3DS in the car for long periods of time because I start to get car sick, so, um, preferably when you're playing your console in your car. Uh, you won't be driving at the same time, because that would be really stupid along the side of uh, all that Pokemon Go bullcrap that was happening when people were crashing and dying playing Pokemon Go on the road. So hopefully they don't have to, you know, tell people to not be stupid when they're playing their uh, Nintendo Switch. Uh, they then show a Mario game, uh, which is expected. It is a Nintendo console. Of course, Nintendo is going to have a Mario game. Um... We know nothing about it. They showed a little bit of gameplay. We don't even know if that's actually the game's gameplay. It might be just like a tech demo they threw together because it looks kind of bare. Um, but we are expected, as usual, to have some sort of Mario game. I'm hoping that the Mario game launches with the uh, Nintendo Switch. But as far as we know, the only official 110% launch game that we know that uh, Nintendo Switch is going to have is the new Zelda game, which looks like a lot of fun. Uh, another scene they show in the trailer is they show uh, that two people can play on one console using each side of the gamepad. Like, because remember, like they showed earlier that the gamepad can come off of the uh, not the gamepad, the the buttons or whatever can come off the gamepad, in which then two people can use it, similar in the style of a Wii mote, like holding a, a Wii mote sideways, but you actually have more buttons on it now. Uh, before the Wii mode, I think only had the directional pad, one and two, and then a Z button. But now you have four face buttons and a trigger, and a D-pad. So uh, maybe you can do some more stuff with that. But that's really cool. I mean, you can just carry one console and always have two players. Little baby controllers. Only thing I'm a little worried about is maybe losing one of those things. But I mean, if you take care of your shit, then you won't have to worry about anything. Uh, the Nintendo Switch still has a release date of March 2017, which is very, very close. I believe it's six months away, which, wow, I, I hope that on the way there, of course they are, because I'd be stupid if they didn't, that they would just show us more uh, of what this is about so that we can get more of an idea. I'm glad that they actually are marketing this as not the Wii U 2 or, you know what I mean? Like something that we actually can 
tell the difference because that was another huge problem with the Wii U is that people just didn't know what the Wii U was. People thought the Wii U was an add-on tablet to the Wii and that was another thing that didn't help out very well with the console. Um, one thing that I wanted to point out while watching this whole trailer, guys, is that you did not see a single child or a single family. Which means what? What do you think? Maybe is Nintendo actually trying to market this console to another core audience? Are they finally over, like, solely marketing towards children and families? Which, of course, no. I mean, that'd be stupid for Nintendo to not market towards children and family since they've always been about children and family for a very long time. But I just like that in the trailer, they did not show, like, oh, here's, like, little Timmy and little uh, Judy playing with 90-year-old grandma playing some Wii Sports, you know what I mean? Like, that kind of stuff makes you go... <sighs> It's like they're, they're really trying to go for more of a hardcore gaming experience this time with it still being kind of casual, like pick up and go. But I mean, they show a guy playing Skyrim, which, you know, your grandma's not going to fire up Skyrim on her Nintendo Switch while she goes to her, her bingo meetings. But I just thought that was really interesting that in that whole trailer, they did not show any of that stuff. It was always like teens to young adults all hip and all cool like hey let's let's play some two-player mario outside on our roof because you know people do that when they could have just walked over and went in the girl's house but they, again then again i guess maybe she didn't know all the people and didn't want all those people in her house but i don't know i guess we have to look deeper into that part aspect of the trailer but then after that they show some esports stuff with uh like a uh two esports teams practicing splatoon uh, in which then they go on a stage and they play Splatoon, which is really cool. So it, it looks like you can sit it down and wirelessly connect with other people to play kind of like a 3DS, like an NFC or whatever kind of connection they got going on, which is pretty cool. Totally down with that. I mean, how often would you be like, hey, man, meet me with your NX at uh, um, Burger King, bro, and we can play some Mario Kart, you know. But, I mean, I guess that's, that's cool that that's there. I mean, you have to have some sort of connectivity with a... Uh, with a mobile console, but um, that's pretty much all the trailer had. Uh, I guess this is where I talk about what I like about it. I mean, it looks promising. It looks like something that I actually want. The Wii U, I honestly bought because I like Nintendo, and I didn't expect much, but this looks like actually something that I would enjoy, in my opinion. Also, I mean, are you really going to take this gamepad out? I know I'm not. I... I think my gamepad will never leave my house, honestly. Um, mainly because when I leave the house, which rarely I do in the first place, when I do leave my house, it is to go out and enjoy outside and not play video games. I can always play video games in the house. Another thing is, have you ever tried playing like a 3DS out in direct sunlight? Yeah, good luck, right? So like, unless you crank up that brightness all the way up and kill your battery even faster, you can't even see anything when you're playing like games out in the sun, so you can like go find some shade and play, but I think the only time this thing would ever leave the house is if I was going to someone's house and I could just play it while I'm at their house or like if I'm going to I don't I don't know. Maybe I got to go wait in line at the bank. I'll play it in there, like you know what I mean? Like I don't know. I go to Disneyland a lot, so maybe play it in line at Disneyland when you're not in direct sunlight, which is a good I mean, being in direct sunlight is like 85% of the time, so maybe when there's that bit of shade when you're waiting in line 40, 50 minutes to get on a ride, you can pull out your your thing, but it's kind of big, so I don't think I, I don't know, I have to carry like a bag specifically for it, I can't just pull my 3DS out of my pocket, you know, so I think that would still be my preferable travel thing, but in my opinion, I really appreciate the get up and go, I think the only way I'd ever use that, like I said, is to, if I was going to someone's house, or like say somebody wanted to watch tv or somebody wanted to play something else i could just pick it up and like get in my bed and play it or move to another room you know that's the only that's kind of how the wii u pad was a little bit um that's the only reason why i'd see it uh, the negatives that i don't like about it is that like those itty bitty little game pieces that you snap on the side of it like i'm not prone to losing things but i know a lot of other people are really good at losing things so that would probably be a problem um, also, the negative, like I was talking about, is if it's all about, like, gaming on the go, will you actually play this on the go? 
I know in the trailer they showed examples of like being on an airplane, of course that's a time to play it. Or say you're riding a bus, of course that's a time to play it. Say there's going to be a long car ride, of course you have time to play it. But I mean, in everyday life, how often will you be that into a game that you can't pause it, that you'll just pick it up and walk out? I mean, I guess the dude was like, oh, my dog wants to go to the park. But like, you bring your dog to the park, play with your dog, man. Like, You get what I mean? Like, I just don't. I appreciate it, and it is unique. That is a pretty crazy idea, having a home console that is you can easily just pick up and go. But how often will you actually do that? Unless you travel a lot, you know what I mean? Then, then more power to you, but like to a normal person like me that doesn't really go anywhere. <laughs> like, that wouldn't be... Uh, I don't know, that's just me. Uh, also, the gamepad, looking at the technology for it, it looks pretty expensive. Um... The gamepad for the Wii U was actually when it broke. You had to crank out a nice chunk of change. I think it was like 130 or 150 dollars to get a new gamepad or to get yours fixed. So just imagine if you break this, this is a whole new console. So I, I'm kind of expecting it to launch at around 300 bucks, 400 bucks maybe. They'll probably have two different versions with bigger hard drive space. Um, so far from what we saw, there's no gimmicky like touch controls from the trailer they showed. Uh, no like 3G or or, uh, like, you know, connectivity for or GPS for, like, Pokemon Go type stuff. So I didn't see anything like that in a trailer. Maybe they might add something like that later. Who knows? I don't know. But, I mean, overall, I from what they showed me, I'm, I'm you yeah, know, I'm, I'm on board. I'm definitely uh, interested. I'm more interested than I was when they showed the Wii U. Like I said, when the Wii U came out, I kind of just bought it because I like Nintendo. And I had money at the time, so I was like, why not? But... This actually looks like something I'd actually want to play because uh, my my couch is kind of uncomfortable. So I'm like, hey, I want to play Mario. Let me go lay in my bed and play, which I can't do because I can't really see my television from my bed. So um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Are you guys hyped at all for the Nintendo Switch? Or are you on board? Are you excited to play? I'm just interested to see what they have on it. And I'm hopefully hoping that there's no shitty gimmicks like the Wii U, like looking at your gamepad and the TV at the same time. That was so frustrating. But, I mean, it looks like the only kind of gimmick, quote-unquote, they got going on is just the whole fact that it can get up and go and how the little side joysticks kind of pop off the screen. That's pretty cool, though. I mean, that doesn't seem like something that would hinder your gameplay. It's not like you're going to have to pop one off and shake it like a like a maraca or something if you're playing like a dance game i don't know maybe who knows we never know but it looks pretty good to me and i'm totally on board i'd love to see more and i can't wait to see more uh i would love to see the specs to see what we got you know see what what's under the hood to see what they were able to create and smush into this gamepad that would make it strong you know like maybe when it's plugged into the maybe like when it's plugged into the uh dock that it's at like max graphics or something and then when you're playing it on the actual screen it's downscaled a bit maybe to save battery or maybe it can't yeah i don't know we don't know much but i would love to know i would love to dig it dig into that kind of thing but i think i said this before i probably forgot but i mean what do you guys think i did ask that what do you guys think are you hype do you not care do you not really give a crap about nintendo are you like oh it's about damn time nintendo stepping up like what do you guys think because my opinion i'm down I'm totally down. I, I think it's going to be fun, and uh, I look forward to it. So thank you guys for listening to me ramble for 18 minutes. I really appreciate it, and I hope uh, you guys enjoy the video, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye. 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 Give me your biscuitie.